Before I start this video, I just want to give out a warning. This is just a theory and a conspiracy. Nothing else and it's not facts. As Wild Works finally released and made focus of the mobile version of Animal Jam, which is called Play Wild, and now currently called Animal Jam, more and more AJ Classic users seem to be losing their accounts and getting permanently banned for no absolute reason. Is Wildworks actually planning this behind? Trying to get AJ Classic users to start playing AJ Play Wild. This may be a little bit out, but hear me out. I'm going to explain why I believe it. If you guys weren't aware, AJ Play Wild actually has this feature where if you have an account in Classic, you're going to automatically have another account in Play Wild, and you get almost the same benefit or even more in Play Wild. Now, I had a membership in my one account, and I have bought a 12 month membership, which is basically one year, and you get around 15,000 sapphires. And in AJ Play Wild, if you have 500 sapphires, you can buy one month membership. And guess what? You're going to get membership in Classic as well. Is AJ using this as their advantage? Banning random players who are seemingly innocent and trying to get the wild instead. And doing the same thing where they bombard people with gifts. First joining AJ Play Wild, you get automatic 400 sapphires for joining. And 400 sapphires you can actually get one month membership if you visit the diamond shop, well, sapphire shop, and play wild. Now, I'm thinking, is Animal Jam, well, is Wild Works using this to get people to actually do that step where they use play wild to go back and get membership in their new accounts? The amount of people that was banned and lost their accounts just this month is crazy. And seemingly being innocent and having absolutely no background or whatsoever going against the rules. If Wildworks is actually doing this, it seems to be working. As when I got banned, I turned into Play Wild and tried to get my second account membership. I just have a problem with Animal Jam is a million worth company and they don't seem to be addressing this simple situation and they're indeed they're well avoiding the question when someone asks why they are being banned without a reason is this why are they hiding something here is an interview I've did with another person who got banned from Animal Jam out of nowhere while the person was offline and this is how it went my account was banned yesterday at roughly 7 30 p.m. I had not done anything whatsoever that would have gotten me banned when I checked the discipline board it says language I was sent an email but there was no detail at all the only thing the email said was that my account was permanently banned. I was having an online class only to come back to Animal Jam and I had been banned. All my hard work was ruined. Now, I asked this person if this person knew anyone else who has been banned just nowadays. And this person gave me two people. Two. And I know so much more people who has been banned and yes it's crazy and i also wonder why does animal jam completely ignore the fact that there are literal hackers walking around the servers and they never seem to take action this is another additional topic of i'm wondering why is animal jam not taking action 
towards hackers or scammers. This has been going on ever since the starting days of Animal Jam, where even you have solid proof and all proofs are actually shown to Animal Jam, they would not take a step or they would not help out a jammer of who is experiencing these horrible things. There are literal people out there who's hacking people so easily to the point where even if you enter a den, you get hacked and your info gets leaked out to the hackers. And that is going to be my next video. Why 